So if you were to take the game off of him, that, that says something. So now we have uh, some weird fights. So these guys. Uh, what, what Clay is going to look for is any kind of uh, bad approach by his game, and he's going to cross cancel shine. So he was able to get a good 30 something percent off of that one combo. But this is just, you know, a staple matchup of Fox Falco where yeah. they both mess each other up really well. And plus, Falco dies very early. Uh, just yes. like that. Which sucks, man. Yeah. So, so good on the same. He is extending this comp. This is the stock. Or no. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the Amaro's Shine. What, so, I remember a long, long time ago, I got this from Keith Speedin, actually. Uh, I just uh, took it from him. Where, when you're on the ledge, and it's kind of ambiguous as to where they're going to go, uh, you grab the ledge for invincibility, and then as you're recovering, you let go of the ledge to shine so that they don't have a chance of teching or anything like that. Okay. So this guy just threw off the stock. Yeah. For like reasons. <laughs> Good on pork chops, not uh, not taking a homie stock, just saying, hey, you killed yourself, I'm going to take it. Yeah, I mean, he, he wants that, that <laughs> W. He wants that win, boy. Man, look at him. Uh, doing all kinds of smashes. Forward smash, up smash, down smash. You're looking like a new player here. <laughs> oh, down throw. I thought he was going to do that, uh, the cheese. Yeah, I know. I know which Yeah, one. yeah. I'm surprised it didn't work, actually. He, he probably did. Yeah, I, mm. I didn't know you could do that. Dude. That's cool. We're throwing each other out a little bit. Zidane definitely like, doesn't want to lose his stock, but ends up losing anyway. Uh, he, he, he went out there, so if he didn't go out there, he probably would have had another stock. Yeah. Right? Oh, nice jab reset in the falling up air. Yeah. Oh, Man, cool. he is getting, getting so much extension off of his combos. It's so good. And right. Oh, no, yes. poor oh. DI just knows it, quits yeah. out of the game. Yep. I swear, that's a South Florida thing only. Like, we just quit out of the game instantly. <laughs> I swear. I see it so much, dude. Okay. <laughs> so let's. See if you can learn a little bit. Double shining. That's pretty good. It, it's better to do off the ledge because it, it sends Paco in a very, very bad trajectory. Um, he, he shouldn't have uh, jumped off the ledge just in reaction to that. Like he, he can he can read that pretty well. Ooh. See, we got we literally have the best commentator for this because I don't play either of these characters so <laughs> this is the best view to listen to to learn this matchup for sure. Wow. Yeah I mean you can you can probably gauge as to what these characters can do to you as a as a pop, right? Oh yeah. Definitely. Uh, I like how Chops is sitting back lasering at uh, whenever he has space and then he's poking with back guys. Yeah. Because not committing too much oh, hold it down. Stupid battlefield. Alright. So, yeah, like I was saying earlier, um, Porkchops is very, very good at uh, spacing his lasers, actually. I was actually really impressed playing him, how well he is at spacing his lasers. Yeah, he, he's pretty good at that. It's to be expected though, but it's it's just it's surprising when you play when you play your friends who isn't all well round rounded, you know. Right. right. But he can approach you from any kind of way he wants to or chooses to. He's like, hey, I'm gonna laser camp, laser camps. Hey, I'm gonna go in now. And it's just you don't really know what to do. Cause I'm not used to playing someone of his skill, you know. Right. Oh, I thought he was gonna jab or something. Yeah. Today is kind of getting nervous a little bit. He's not capitalizing on openings. Because he's kind of dash dashing around. Um, yeah, so like right there. Yeah, he could have just, yeah, forward smash, up smash. smash yeah. yeah. Charged it even, man. Yeah. I think he gets the stock out. Oh. Uh, today. Not smart. Yeah. 
Not the smartest. Yeah, he, he's kind of playing on tilt a little bit, but I, I think he can get his bearings a little bit more. Uh, okay. But Chops is sitting pretty. Two stars. He's just lasering. Oh, double dip attempt. Yeah. See how he's just lasering, and then if there's an opening, he'll take it. Oh yeah. But he'll, he's not like going too much into box space because yeah. he, he has to lead. Very, very smart. Not only that, but since Fox is so fast uh, compared to Falco, it's smart. Yeah, I mean, they'll mess each other nice, up. Nice, nice. They'll definitely mess each other up. Oh boy. So pork chops up to a uh, yeah switching okay okay I did not know that Dane had a sheep yeah so this is gonna be uh, a tweet a treat wow. a treat for me <laughs> uh, yeah he has pocket sheep okay and cool pocket nice I swear every spacey has a pocket other spacey yes <laughs> oh yeah it's just how it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing Fox and uh, team. Yeah, see, there you go. I thought you liked Falco and team. Or it's just Foxes is better. Um, with who you, your team with Shaman, right? No, uh, Team Saucy. Okay, Saucy. okay. So yeah, Fox, uh, Falcon. Yeah, Fox Falcon. So, so it, yeah, it really makes good more sense. <laughs> so, so Zane is not doing so well, but I think. I think if he gets his bearings with the Sheik, he needs to go to Sheik mode. He's like, yeah. okay, I'm playing Sheik now. So, let me nice play needle. as lame as possible. Yeah. Just make sure I get my needles and back airs and uh, edge guards on point. So, like... Uh, he gets edge guard. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I ends up getting it. So, he, he reacts very quickly as soon as... Play baits him. He he does a reaction off of the ledge. So he needs to just be cool. Uh, make sure that he gets ledge and goes back on stage on his own time. And for all the Sheik players out there, correct me if I'm wrong, or even you. Um, I don't think Sheik players should ever wear a tag, just because the up B. You, I know it's you can kind of read it regardless. Yeah. But I think it it makes it a lot easier because you see, yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying. Where you go. He, he's going for the like you can see him going for the yeah, ledge. Yeah, that, that is you a know small I mean? telltale sign because there's less to react. To. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I no, feel like it. Just seeing a, an appearing sheep. Ooh, ooh. I feel like I don't know. I feel like that's kind of dumb, but yeah, it's, it's probably gonna be a three out, but. Um, unless if he pulls out something. Unless he uh, somehow takes his tag off. Uh, I think you're right. It's going to be a 3 0. So he is S guarding. He needs improvement. But I don't know. If, if he can just. Calm down. If he can just power shield, then Nair out of shield when he's there. Uh, he's approaching. You know, just making sure that he's, he's not overextending too much because Chops is an opportunist. So he'll yeah, take advantage definitely. of any and every opportunity he'll have. Extremely good at it, too, right? man. Like right there. Yep. Off of that. Oh. oh. Unless if this happens. Yeah. SDs are but then just, right? Yeah. So as soon as they play off the, on the side of the ledge, like, okay, side chase. Oh, my gosh. The second place is hard to react to. Oh. Okay. Shield drop back here or something? Nothing? No. Oh my gosh, he's not playing G. He's just <laughs> he's on tilt. Yeah. It's looking like it's gonna be a one game losers run for Zidane. Uh, oh yeah, it's looking like jump. that. Yeah, he lost. Ah. Uh, 3 0. 